Hello and welcome to a GTA video. Yes, this is going to be a GTA glitch video on how to get the duffel bag. Now, I know people will be wondering, does this work? Yes, this completely works. I literally have done it to get it on this, the, the one that I'm using just now, but I've took the duffel bag off just so I can do this video. Yo, can I just say quickly, uh, yeah, I know I'm doing this over the top of uh, Fortnite content, sorry about that, but can I just say quickly, uh, if you are here to watch the how to transfer the duffel bag over onto other outfits without redoing the glitch again, then skip to 6.18. Yeah, skip to 6.18 and that is where you'll find the uh, how to transfer the duffel bag. Right, thank you. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you find it useful. So first you're going to need to request your terabyte. Sorry, but yeah, like I said, we're just going to jump straight into it. So first, you're going to need to request your terabyte. And you're going to wait for it to come in. And you're going to need an air, aerial vehicle in this, so if you don't have an oppressor, then you need a helicopter or a plane. But if you want to keep a helmet on it, like I want just now, the way my helmet is on, then you need to have an oppressor. So you get in your terabyte, you come to the board here, and you start the robbery in progress. So robbery in progress, pretty easy. Yeah, so, you find you're a guy, the guy with the duffel bag, not too difficult. This can be, I don't like this bit, it, can, it just sometimes takes a bit too long, switching cameras and it can crash the game, it's crashed mine. That's not really common. That's quite funny, we're doing this route. Purchase your tracks today. There's a duffel bag guy. And we're gonna go and get that. So, now we just need to go and do the mission normally, basically. From this point, we go and get the duffel bag. Nothing too, too difficult, we're just doing the mission. I don't know why, but I'm not locking on. And I still don't know how he's not dead. I think I just popped on fire. Nice. And it just got destroyed. Sweet. I know. Top 10. Big brain plays. Oh, was my shotgun? That did not go well. I didn't even my shotgun. Oh, he died. Gonna get the duffel bag. Trying to get my pressure back in because I'm gonna need it. There we go. I tried to kill myself. It didn't work. So you just pretend you didn't see that. Now we have lost our wanted level. If you don't, if you can't jump in your oppressor or anything in time, then that's the best thing to do. Do not know why that spawn spawns over there. You, I thought it was meant to spawn next to you. That's frustrating. I hate when it does that. And you're in a one v one. Anyway, come in, get the duffel bag. And why did I have the police again? I actually do not know. Usually you just lose them. That's fun, getting it called Lester. He just ran over my pressure. Nice game, nice. Hey Alright, now we're going to take it to the drop-off. Hmm. Now I'm going to say this now, when we get to the drop-off, we're going to need to parachute on top of the circle. It doesn't need to be directly on top of the circle, but it needs to be next to the circle. You can run onto it. Honestly, I don't even know how close it needs to be. I've messed up and had to run to the circle anyway. But you need to parachute off your oppressor and get to the circle. It can be a little bit tricky because the oppressor you kind of barrel roll off when you jump and it's quite frustrating at times, but it's doable. 
And this is one that always bugs me. Remember to stay moving whilst on the oppressor because that when you, if you click triangle and it's not moving, the game just messes up and it makes you have to land the oppressor. Okay, come down here, run to the circle. Boom, that's us made 30k. Now once you've done that, and you've got your duck like that, you're gonna either go to the gun store and buy a, which isn't too difficult to get. You just go there, you look for the rule one, and I'll show you what the parachute looks like. Style, parachutes on. The parachute should look like this, with a kind of Jewish star on it. Now you get that parachute, and you come over to the mass store. This is quite handy. You then fly up around about here at the mass store, and you just jump off. Now this is a difficult part. You need to fly directly into the mass store. So like I'm doing, straight into it, and then you fall over. Now spam right on the D-pad, save the outfit you want, walk away, I quit that outfit and boom you've got the duffel bag. It's as easy as that, that's all you need to do to get the duffel bag. And yeah, so that's all I can really say and now I'm going to talk about how to transfer it. So if you've came to the video to see how to transfer it or you just want to know how to get it in a different uh, outfit, that's also easy. So you get on your oppressor or helicopter or whatever you're using to do the glitch and you fly into the air. And you, keep, you, keep, you fly in at quite a good distance and you then jump off and pull your parachute. Now whilst coming down you go to style and you pick the outfit you want to change to but you don't equip it. You don't equip the outfit yet. So I'm going to put it on my USSR outfit. It's not, it doesn't even look anything to do with the Soviet Union. I just called it that because I couldn't think of a name. But I want it on this other Scottish outfit that I have. So we're going to come down, we're going to have that ready and as soon as our guy starts to unbuckle his parachute we switch to it and boom that's when you got the duffel bag on that. And yeah so if this video was useful to you then leave a like and subscribe maybe. I do troll videos, GTA videos and feels and funny moments videos so if anything like that is something you enjoy then leave a like and subscribe also if you're wondering how to get this saved it's, you need to fly into the mass store again so what you fly in and you save it instantly like you did with the other one you just have to redo that and that's about it so like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video